Crossroads near the new National Veterans Cemetery in Pembroke, Genesee County has raised red flags for some local veterans, advocates, and also their families. They feel that there are major safety issues there with one fatal crash that already took the lives of two veterans. Channel 2's Ron Plants is seeking answers and asking tough questions of Senator Chuck Schumer about what can be done. Some tombstones of our fallen service men and women are already in place at the Western New York National Cemetery in Pembroke with room for more than 96,000. Tragically, as the Buffalo News reported, two more older veterans were just laid to rest here last year when they were killed at this access intersection of Route 77 and Indian Falls Road, actually in this car crash after attending a funeral at the cemetery for a close friend and fellow veteran back in September 2021. Police say one of those veterans apparently ran a stop sign, pulled right into the path of a tractor trailer. That intersection in this rural area carries traffic moving at 55 miles per hour and perhaps higher with speeding vehicles. It's a fast road. Um, you know, Route 77, particularly heading north from the throughway, um, is a heavy truck route. Um, it's 55 through there, which lends to being a little bit more difficult for timing and looking at traffic, you know, coming at you. That's especially for elderly and perhaps grieving individuals leaving the cemetery. As it turns out, the Veterans Administration and state DOT have decided to do yet another traffic safety study here after doing one previously to the opening of the cemetery last year when they decided to add, as the Buffalo News reports, a right turn lane for northbound Route 77 traffic onto Indian Falls. The newspaper also reports that the new cemetery director, James Metcalf II, and VA planner, Peter Rizzo, who we got to know from advocacy against the Buffalo School speed zone cameras, both repeatedly tried to get their bosses, Veterans Administration officials, to make safety changes at the intersection, with claims that both were disciplined and told to leave it alone. But role of the VFW points out. Employees of the, of the federal government, in particular the VA, have a, a duty to uh, disclose such things. And today we asked Senator Chuck Schumer about the whistleblower's case. I think they did the wrong thing when the new VA director came in and I brought it to his attention. We did get a different kind of look at it and, and uh, I believe they are investigating now. I've asked them to do that. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.